Thanks for checking out my Wix AI website builder review. Here I'm going to be going over how it works along with giving you some of the pros and cons of their AI website builder. I'm not big on introductions, so let's begin. Aside from using their AI website builder, you can use their AI chat function and that's a great way of actually improving the results that you're going to get. I'll quickly show you how it works. If you're familiar with ChatGPT, it's going to be just like that. Pretty much having a conversation and going back and forth, which is easy to do and that's a good thing. As it says right here, first tell me what your site is all about. All right, so I put, I have a photography site where I want to demonstrate my portfolio. Let's click on enter and let it load. All right, simple stuff. Can you tell me the name of your photography business or site? Island photography, I just made that up. Let's click on the next button. All right, so as you can see here, as we continue to accumulate the answers here, they're gonna show up on the right side. I put individuals who are getting married and want beautiful photos. This is pretty straightforward, right? And you'll notice as it loads here, it's gonna showcase some site apps. This is something that you can always change later because maybe you don't want a blog and as you can see, it's gonna be updating. Maybe you don't want bookings, whatever it's going to be. It talks about any specific features or functionalities you want in your website. You know, you can really do help me answer. You can skip question or just end chat and continue. I am gonna end the chat and continue here because I think you get the idea about how this works. Once again, this isn't the main AI website builder, but I think it goes hand in hand with it with getting the best outcome. I'm just gonna click on end chat and continue here. All right, and this is where we come to the actual meat of the review. How would you like to design your website? Now, obviously you can always customize the template, but given the fact that we are talking about AI, you can generate a design with AI. And the big question is, are you gonna to wanna to use AI or are you gonna to wanna to customize the template? Allow me to go through with my review, kind of demo it and give you my opinions and feelings about it. And then we'll kind of answer that question as I wrap things up. So let's generate a design to show you how it works. All right, and so one thing I do wanna mention off the bat, which is why I'm gonna be speaking now, it does take a significant amount of time for it to load, especially if you wanna cycle through different variations. Now, everything is still loading there, which is why it's all kind of scrunched up on top, so it will get better as it kind of unloads. What I'm gonna do is just kind of scroll down so you can see it is still loading. Looks like this is a lazy loading images. Okay, that's not too bad where you can have some projects. It's pretty straightforward, pretty basic, not too bad in my opinion. I don't mind it just because I like simple and straightforward designs. Now here's something important right here. It says your site's ready for you to adjust the content and design. Click on what you want to change in the brief. So in my opinion, while it comes to changing it, I do feel like you're kind of limited in terms of what you can do. As an example, it says based on your site profile and since it's underlined, we can click on that to change some of the settings right here. Some of the settings here can include obviously your logo, your site name, your type. Then we have description. Okay, if you wanna change that around, and it says the more detail it is, the better the text will be. And of course, we have some contact info, pretty straightforward. So let's say everything is good there. We can now go to the site structure as well. So this is where we can add some of the tabs. Obviously, some of these we can't change around, but if you do wanna do that, you can say edit features or not edit features. When you are done, you would simply click on apply changes. And once again, it would load to go through and add whatever you did. There's gonna be the site structure. There's the site description, which we talked about. Then there's gonna be the theme and layout. And this is kind of gonna go back to the chat GPT era of this, era of just format of this, once it's done loading, which it has right there. It says the theme is characterized by a geometric and retro minimalist style. It features a sans serif font and geometric icons with the primary color being white, the secondary color alabaster, and an additional color of silver. So this is just an example where you can kind of change things around. You could do generate new theme, you can shuffle these colors or back to brief. One of the things that I do have a little gripe with, or not just with this, but when it comes to AI in general, the strength of the output is going to equal the strength of the input, usually, right? The thing is, if you don't really know how to describe it here, you can shuffle around, you can generate a new theme, but it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to get exactly what you want, unless you know how to exactly describe it. Maybe we just wanna start from scratch almost and just generate a new theme. We can do that by clicking right here generating new theme, giving it some time to load. And that is what it is doing right now. Once again, we're gonna have the loading process and it's pretty much just going to describe what it is. So it's creating the website with a sleek traditional design. When it is done, I will get back to you. You don't have to see how it loads every time. Okay, and for this one, say we got a lot of blue. Maybe we like the layout, maybe it's not too bad, but the blue is a little you know, offsetting to us. Let's maybe change it around. All right, so I typed in, let's replace the blue colors with green and enter. 
All right, so I've applied the same theme with the primary color, it's Laurel Green, you know, and it's still loading. Once again, it's gonna create a new version as secondary color, Timberwolf, and additional color, Light Goldenrod, okay? So more of like an olive green, still some white, not too bad. So that's kind of gonna be the process where you have to go back and forth when it comes to tweaking it and so on and so forth. There's also something I also dislike. Let's say we wanted to go to version one or version two, whatever it was. You'll notice how every time we make a significant change, it's gonna go to three but let's say we want to go to two right here. What it's going to do is go through that loading process again. I wish it was a little bit quicker because if I wanted to shuffle from version three to two and just kind of flip through quickly, it's much easier to see which one I'm going to like better. However, we do have to go through that loading process, wait for it to load and see like, hmm, maybe I didn't like that one as much. Let's go here. Let's go to version one. Once again, repeating the process. So I think it's a little bit tedious that you have to wait so long for it to load, especially when it's already done that previously, but that's just me personally. Okay, so that's gonna be the site theme there. We also have a section right here when it comes to the layouts. All right, once again, we have a complex and advanced design using one big title and overlapping elements. So if you weren't too sure about how to describe what your layout looks like, you might be in a little bit of, you know, guessing games. I wouldn't say trouble, but like I said, that's probably one of the most difficult things. If you've ever gone to someone and tried to describe exactly what you want, a lot of times you're gonna be scratching your head saying like, I don't know how to explain it or I don't even know where to start. And that can be kind of the problem here, right? Like I said, the better the input, the better the output. But if you can't put great input in the first place, you might have some trouble. Once again, we can go and generate new layout just to see what it looks like. And once again, we're gonna have some loading, a mosaic design layout that holds grid lines and strokes, okay? So this is gonna be version four. Let's say we just completely didn't like that one. We can always just go back to version one. And once again, we're gonna have the loading process, something I'm sure you're gonna be familiar with. I just wish it was a little bit quicker when cycling through the versions that we've created already. All right, so let's hit back here. That's gonna be the layout. Then of course we have some other ideas here where if we just wanna make slight tweaks to it, we can do this. However, it's gonna be unknown once again. So let's do this. Maybe we wanna change it up ever so slightly where maybe this is gonna go over here. There could be an image, but allow me to show you how it works. Let's click on tweak design. And of course it's gonna do the loading process, making it a little different, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. And when it's done, I'll get back to you and show you it. All right, so this is gonna be the version where it's ever so slightly changed. And I had to refresh the page if you're wondering why there's only two versions, that's why. But nevertheless, this is gonna be slightly different. That's something you can do. There's also gonna be the regenerate design idea right here. We can just pretty much get something much different. So let's do that as well to show you how that works. So regenerating your site based on your site profile, island photography, uh, your site will have a site structured with one page and so on and so forth. That's what I talked about before with the chat. The more you input there, the better output you're gonna be. All right, and I actually think this one looks the best. I kind of like the colors here, kind of gives like an islandy vibe. This can obviously be an image of you. Uh, services, if you want to include them, we have photography packages, portfolio. I think this one actually looks great. Like if you're looking for something super simple and clean, this would be something I would definitely use. Of course, when you are done, you would do continue with this design right here. It's gonna ask you if you wanna create a uh, domain with that to get going and up and running, but obviously you can just do continue to the editor. And that's pretty much gonna be the process when it comes to using the AI website builder. Now, one of the biggest questions here is, well, should I go with maybe the AI website builder or maybe just run through and pick a template? Well, allow me to show you some of the templates to show you the difference when it comes to that. All right, so that was the process of using the Wix AI website builder. Let's say we wanted to just customize the template. Is it gonna be faster? Is it gonna be more efficient? Let's find out. All right, and since Wix already knows that we're gonna be creating a photography portfolio blog, we already have some templates here for us. We're gonna have some best matches here. So this is gonna be like arts. This one's gonna be photographer. In fact, what I could probably just do is do this and just do photography and see what we get. All right, and as we can see, we have a good amount of them. So. This actually might be a lot easier compared to using the AI website builder just because you can see it right here. You can obviously click on it and view it too to see what it looks like, where you could say like, hey, this looks pretty good. This is just gonna be a lot of portfolio pictures. What I can do is easily edit them, change around the name at the top, you know, some of the text there, and of course, some of the pages. Let's go back to templates. So all in all, as you can see, when it comes to using templates, you're already getting a lot of great expert designs. Let's go here. And you can see what they look like very quickly, you know, as opposed to waiting for them to load and cycle through. So in my opinion, it might even be better just going with the template because a lot of these are actually pretty good in terms of how they're set up. Uh, let's look at one more.
and just kind of scrolling through, kind of asking yourself, do any of these kind of look better than the simple one that I had created using the AI website builder? And the answer is most probably gonna be yes. One, because these mostly look better, and two, there's a plenty more to compare them to, right? We had three pages, now we have four. All right, and we just have a few more that are gonna be art related. All right, so that's pretty much going to be the choice that you have to make. Whether you want to generate a design with AI, do you have good enough input that's going to allow you to create an output? And you, do you want to kind of shuffle through and wait for some of the load times in order to really maximize the design and the skeleton overall that you're going to get? Rather, instead of just going to customize the template, choosing your niche, finding one that looks good to you in the beginning, and pretty much just kind of replacing everything you need to. In this instance, it's going to be a lot of the image of the photographies, your name, your logo, some of the pages, and maybe pricings when it comes to the specific packages. Nevertheless, this is a review, so allow me to cap this off and give you my final thoughts as I've gone through and given you some of the pros and the cons. Let's highlight that very quickly right now. So if you're starting from absolute scratch, Wix's AI website builder can be a handy jumpstart, but from my experience, the quality of what you get is only as good as what you put in, which means if you're not super specific, you might end up with a site that feels a little, you know, generic. And while you can tweak things, there are moments where you feel like you're fighting against the system rather than designing with it. Now, if you want more creative freedom, you might be better off choosing a template and customizing from there. And if neither AI nor templates are your thing, well, WordPress might be calling your name. Either way, I do have a link in the description for a special WordPress hosting if you want to check that out and go that route. Nevertheless, at the end of the day, it doesn't hurt that Wix has a feature like this, but let's be real, there's definitely some room for improvement here. And that's going to conclude my review when it comes to the Wix AI website builder. I hope that you found this video useful. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you do want an alternative, you can check out the link in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.